It's been almost four years since the release of MetaQuest 2 and exactly six months since the next gen Quest 3 hit the market. And you're probably wondering, is it still worth buying a four-year-old headset in 2024? I will talk about its specs, future-proofing and of course price to figure out how well Quest 2 holds up in 2024 and if it still remains a worthy purchase. And actually the price is going to be the topic that we're going to be tackling head-on because boy or boy this shop is open. Not only did Meta permanently reduce the price on Quest 2, which started as just a one-time limited Black Friday sale, Meta also launches impressive discounts on official Quest 2 accessories. Stuff like Elite Strap, Elite Strap with battery, carrying case, fit pack, and even Touch Pro controllers are all getting permanent discounts, some of which are as high as 50% off the original prices. And you can check them all by yourself, I will leave the links in the description below to all the discounted items. It's true that you could buy Quest 2 off of eBay for that price or even cheaper, but it would make me, for example, feel much better to get a brand new item with factory warranty, and this reduced price really makes this decision a bit easier. To be honest, even without talking about things like specs or games, the price alone should be enough to pull the trigger for many users. I promise you that I would talk about specs, but I don't want to overwhelm you with the numbers and figures that might mean nothing to you, because as someone who has used both Quest 2 and Quest 3 since day one of each of their launches, the decision of whether Quest 2 is worth buying in 2024 is very much depends on who you are and what you want to do with it. Because what it boils down to is its functionality, what you can do with its headset and what you cannot compared to Quest 3. And in that regard, it's actually incredible how similar these two headsets are. They both can play standalone and PC VR games, they both have hand tracking, pass through and are pretty lightweight compared to many other headsets. Quest 3 can just do most of these things better. Interestingly enough is something you will not even notice if you have never tried Quest 3. And trust me on this, most first-time users will be perfectly happy with the Fresnel lenses that are less sharp than pancake lenses, glare, lower resolution, slightly heavier weight, and the black and white pass-through. I know this because over the past four years I've shown Quest 2 to many, many people, most of whom have never tried VR before, and they were blown away. Way. Because outside of our small VR expert and hardcore gaming bubble, people actually have no idea what good or bad is in terms of VR development. It just needs to feel cool, check, comfortable, kinda check, and price needs to be low enough to make that purchase. Double check. With that in mind, I can present you the ideal persona of Quest 2 user in 2024. It is an excellent headset for someone who is, first, a casual gamer. If you're looking for a solid VR experience but do not need the absolute latest technology, you will find that Quest 2 meets your needs perfectly. You will get access to thousands of official titles, you will be able to sideload thousands more using SideQuest, and even play PC VR games. This is a freaking ridiculously good and multifunctional headset for its price. One of its underappreciated qualities is the reliability. Surely occasionally Meta Quest updates may break some stuff, but overall it is a very solid piece of hardware that takes many minimum effort to set up, that's ready to go pretty much right out of the box, it doesn't crash unexpectedly, it just works. And if you've tried as many VR headsets as I did, you would understand why it's such a big deal for me and how easy it is to take for granted something that simply works all the time. Second, it's good for you if you are curious about VR. With the price reduction on the headset and the brand new discounts on the official accessories, the Quest 2 is perfect for you if you want to explore VR without feeling like you're making a substantial financial commitment. In other words, the current price is low enough for a compulsive purchase. For someone who is just curious about what VR is and how it feels, my own very first VR purchase, Samsung Gear VR back in 2015, was not much cheaper if you account for inflation. It's very easy to pull the trigger with Quest 2 and finally scratch that VR itch of yours. Third, Quest 3 is an awesome gift you can give to your child. Honestly, that's a great price to throw at your kid and not worry too much about how careful they are with it. It's not at all the same as buying a $500 Quest 3. Kids will be happy, adults will be happy, and to be honest, parents will probably steal the headset a couple of times to play contractors when the kids are in bed. Still, if you are buying this headset for yourself, there are a few things that you should consider. Because Quest 3 is a Meta's flagship model, it's 
natural that they're going to throw everything they've got to push and promote this headset. It's their priority and their moneymaker. One thing that you should expect to see more of is Quest 3's exclusive titles. Talisman VR, for example, became the first Quest 3 game unavailable on older Quest headsets, and we will keep seeing more of that in the future. You also should consider future proofing. Meta did stop supporting Quest 1 headsets, and while I personally don't believe that they will drop Quest 2 support at any time soon, it is still worth keeping in mind that Quest 3 is a much more future-proof model, both in terms of meta support and what future titles will be released. Either as Quest 3 exclusive or simply as just more power-demanding games, then Quest 2 might simply not be able to run. However, it may be a bit down the line, because currently the most advanced and critically acclaimed standalone VR game made for Quest 3, Asgard's Wrath 2, plays perfectly well on Quest 2. So, in my opinion, you have nothing to worry about in the near future. If you want a more detailed comparison of Quest 2 and Quest 3, please watch this video where I dive into much more detail and specific features, specs, pros and cons, and absolutely everything that has to do with these two headsets. That's of course if this video didn't answer your question.